morning and welcome to vlogmas day one how exciting oh my gosh i'm so excited for this anyway the day is moving along um had a little bit of a late morning in the sense that i slept in i woke up kind of in the middle of the night and ended up falling back to sleep and slept in a little bit longer than i had intended but it is nine o'clock got up at about 8 30 took a shower washed my hair because today we are going to be doing a dyson air wrap tutorial but first coffee i purchased the advent calendar from nespresso and so today we are busting into day one i have no idea what this coffee is going to be but um we're gonna go ahead and break into it let me show you this is what the advent calendar looks like and then we've got 24 days so i will be doing this every day through vlogmas until the 24th but we have our number one chamber here and let's see what we have ah we have a strong coffee today all right here we go so i've got on this is an intenso it is like number nine in strength pretty heavy duty coffee i like it though i've had it in the past i'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the chamber and make my coffee All right, so for the first coffee of the advent calendar, like I said, it's called Intenso. It's a dark brown capsule. It is a regular sized coffee. It's not an espresso or a lungo or anything like that. I would say that this coffee, and I know you've had this coffee before. I would say this coffee is, you can definitely taste the bitterness and the strength of the coffee. I would say that it's a little bit on the nutty side. Um, it's not acidic though. I say, I think that it is, um, definitely um, better balanced. Uh, I don't tend to like acidic coffees. They don't go well with my stomach, but uh, I think that it's a good cup. It's a really good start, nice and strong. I'm going to be really hyped up, especially because I plan on having a second cup of my flavored coffee, which is the peppermint coffee that they put out this year. They're seasonal flavors. I'm obsessed with that coffee and I cannot not have that coffee. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. All right. So coffee is done. It's been done. Fed the kids, got everything all situated and sorted out. Then now I am going to put on my makeup and I am going to take you guys over to my bathroom so that we can do our Dyson Airwrap. All right, so here we are with our Dyson Airwrap and I'm just going to show you the full set, the Airwrap Complete. I'm going to be honest with you, really what I use the most is just this part, which is the dryer part, and I use these two rollers. These are the two larger rollers. I have used all of these at one point or another but i find that really the hairstyle that i love the most is created with these two rollers but if you wanted a tighter curl you could absolutely go with this one you get the hair dryer attachment if you need it and then you get two straightening brushes one for fine hair one for thicker hair i've used them both and they both work fine um i do feel like i have to go through with the straightening iron afterward though to smooth things out and then you've got a blowout brush which I'm not very good at blowing out my hair, so I've only used this once or twice. Um, and I tend to get my hair all tangled up in these types of brushes. So Dyson Airwrap will actually dry my hair and curl it at the same time so I don't have two separate steps that I need to do. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so it is a pretty big machine. It does have a sizable plug on it and again it's just because of the horsepower that you get with this machine but it is really really quiet i mean the reason that i've got a red air wrap versus the pink i bought this directly from the dyson website sephora was out of stock of the pink ones the copper ones last year when i got this for christmas so i asked for the one from directly from the dyson website and they happen to have it in this really nice red which i really love my hair is I would say probably about 60% dry and most of the wet the moisture that I have in my hair is to the back which is fine you can use the air wrap on dry or wet hair I find that the curl tends to last better when I do it on wet but you can absolutely do it on dry okay so I will clip my hair up section it off you can section your hair off whichever way is most convenient for you um, this is just the way I section my hair 
It's the way that I have sectioned my hair forever, whether I'm using a standard curling iron or a um, or this Dyson. So, and then take the section here into the smaller section. With the Dyson Airwrap, you've got the both barrels. They'll go one in each direction. And so um, you do have to replace them, which is why I recommend you do one side of your head and then you do the other. I usually do this side, all of it, this side, all of it. And then I start working on the top of my hair and I do all of this side and then I move back to this side. My basic rule of thumb is I will look in the mirror and whichever direction the arrow is going is the side that it goes to. It's going to the left, so I'm gonna start out with the left side of my head. And that's my little tip to remind me which of these attachments is, is the one to use. Okay, so you just essentially, you take it and you place it on and it's got a little locking mechanism here. It's got the lock unlock so you can press down on the button and take it off. All you have to do is turn it on and twist it a little bit and it snaps into place. Then you've got your temperature controls here in this section. And um, I go with a high speed because I like for my hair to be dried quickly. I have to go with a higher heat because I've got very coarse hair and a lower heat it will take a lot longer or it may not take the curl. You do have the option here to go with a cool, a medium, or a high heat. And then here you have speed options. And then this middle button is the one that turns on your Dyson. So you just flip it up once and it'll give you the hot air. And then while you're curling your hair, you just hold it up like that and it'll give you the cold shot. Now, I will say one thing about the Dyson Airwrap is that I think that the cold shot is where the magic is. The heated piece is all good and well, but being able to do a cold shot right then and there is what really, really helps to the curl to hold, I think. You can give it a really nice cold shot and it will set the curl really really well so generally this is about the size tendril that i pick up because my hair is thicker and coarser and this is enough to fill the barrel when i put it on and then i will take it and it picks it up and wraps it and it wants to pick up other tendrils and i just let it and then i give it the cold shot Then you turn it off and you pull the, you pull it down. Turn it off first before you pull down. That way you um, don't destroy the curl that you just made. And then I just push it to the back and I grab the next tendril of hair. This one's a little bit thicker. You'll see what I mean. One little tendril wants to grab hold and that's fine. You can pull out the curl like this if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then I give it the hold shot. I turn it off and I pull it down. And then I just kind of throw it to the back. And I keep doing this again, you know, this is just repeated. The reason that it takes a little bit longer to do, to use the Dyson is because I have to use such, I have to use smaller bits of hair. but it goes very quickly. Once you get the, the way to do it, you let the device grab hold of the hair the way that it wants to, um, then, you know, it gets a lot quicker. It really does. It does take a little bit of time to figure out how to use it. And generally I hold it like this and I let it just wrap and then it grabs the hair.
because my hair is a little bit drier now, I don't have to hold it as long to dry. Um, you know, I just give it a few seconds and then the cold shot for a few sec, and then the cold shot for a few seconds and then I let it go. And the heat on this thing is very gentle. It does get pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie, but it is a very gentle heat, if, if there is such a thing. And it really, my hair ends up feeling really soft, especially because I can give it that cold shot. And I really like the fact that they, they let you push this up for the cold shot because it makes it a lot easier to manage. Again, once you get used to it. I ended up with a really nice little barrel curl there and I let them cool down because they are pretty warm when you're done not anything this thing is not nearly as hot as the Revlon version you know the Revlon um and then down and it's just so and now it has become so easy to use this that I can get it done fairly quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna finish up this side and I'm gonna work on this side. start work on the top and this is where I'm gonna go ahead and keep the attachment for the um, right side that I have on I'm gonna work on the right side of my hair I part my hair in this in the middle so I kind of have to work on this side first and then on this side um, just so that I don't have to continue to change the barrels and cool down before I start playing with them and breaking them up um, if I feel like I need to go in and touch something up then I will like for instance I think this bang I kind of want to give it a little bit more volume at the root so I'm gonna switch out the barrels and then grab the bang and kind of make sure that I'm hitting the root Okay, 
and that gave it a little bit more curl up there. As you saw when I was doing this, it was grabbing other bits of hair. I kind of let it. I don't fight against it um, unless it overloads the barrel. Then I might try and I'll actually redo it or I'll pull it out and, you know, kind of separate things a little bit. But I generally will let it do what it wants to do and grab the bits of hair that it wants to grab because at the end of the day, it doesn't really destroy the curl a whole lot. You can just go back in and touch it up with a cooler setting if you're worried about damage. But um, now I am letting the curls cool. Now I have seen some people do pin curls when they are doing their Dyson Air Wrap and that's fine if you wanna do that. that. That helps the curl to set a little bit more tightly. Me personally, I don't have the time for that. This thing does a good enough job on its own with my hair um, and my hair does hold on to the curl for quite a bit so I don't really feel a need to do the pin curls. But if you have fine hair or you know your hair really, really has a tough time holding on to the curl and I wouldn't do the pin curls until you use this a couple of times to, to make sure that the curl does fall out um, because you may be doing the pin curls for no reason if you haven't tried it out that way because I find that this is better than any curling iron that I have ever used as far as helping my curl to stay. And my hair is very, very heavy. When I've used a curling iron, you can tell that the curls for one aren't as tight and bouncy and two, you'll see me progress over time and you'll see the curls pretty much fall out and my hair is just kind of wavy. This thing, my hair stays pretty curled for at least four days, if not five. And um, I tend to wash my hair once a week, so, you know. Um, I also manage my hair a little bit as far as like when I put it up, I roll it up into a bun so that I don't lose the curl and I don't get a cramp in my hair uh, from the ponytail. And that will help to preserve your curl or at least, you know, keep the curl around for a little bit longer than if you were just to put it up in a ponytail. So, where are these now? They're pretty cooled off, so I'm gonna go ahead and break them up. And my battery light is flashing, so I've gotta hurry. But as you can see, the curl is really nice and bouncy, and it will be here all week long. You'll see it as Vlogmas progresses. And uh, yeah, so that's how you use the Dyson Airwrap with the curling barrels. Quick, I'm gonna go back to my room and we can have a chat. I end up with these lovely, lovely, big bouncy curls. Um, you could pull on it a little bit after you have taken it, taken the heat off to kind of stretch the curl. I personally like that 90s curl. You know, I'm, I was a child of the 80s and the 90s and I'm from Texas, so big hair is a way of life for me. So <laughs> a few questions that you might have for the Airwrap. Is it worth it? Well, like I told you when I started out, I primarily use the barrels, the curling barrels, and it is absolutely worth it just for those curling barrels. Even the smaller ones, when I want a tighter curl, they actually make a really lovely curl. Um, I don't use the straightening brushes as much. I did at first because I was a little bit intimidated by the barrel, so I was really just using the straightening brush and the blowout brush when I very first got my air wrap, but then I mastered how to use the barrels, and since then, I have not really looked back. Um, I will blow my hair out from time to time, but I suck at blowing my hair out. I don't do a very good job at all, and so I much prefer having the tighter curls like this, which is why I gravitate to the barrels more. Now, if you're somebody that loves to change your hairstyle then absolutely you're going to use all of the attachments and it's going to be fantastic you're going to love the tool you will have to go in and smooth out um a, a you know a, when you blow it out when you do a straightening with it because i find that especially with coarse hair um i was still my hair was still pretty frizzy so i would have to go through really quickly not 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 you know at, at, with any kind of precision just really quickly with a straightening iron to go through and smooth things out especially just on the top of the hair um and it would work beautifully in that way i love the hair dryer because it dries your hair so quick and like i said at the beginning the magic happens with the cold shot you will get a really nice curl just using the heat 
but really it's the cold shot that really helps to set that curl. I personally think that it is worth the money. I said so in my investment videos and it just takes a little bit of practice to learn to use it, but think back to the days when you first started doing your hair with a curling iron. You didn't really know how to use a curling iron right off the bat. You had to kind of practice and learn how and where to hold a curling iron so that you don't burn yourself or, you know, um, so that you don't end up with weird crimps in your hair or whatever the case might be. You didn't just know how to use a curling iron. You had to train yourself how to use it. You had to train yourself on how to blow out your hair. So the same applies here. It's a different kind of tool that you have to learn. That being said, <laughs> put it on your Christmas wish list. It is absolutely worth the money in my opinion. It really gets faster as you get more practiced with it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any additional questions about the Dyson Airwrap. I will address them in future vlogs during Vlogmas. Um, that's a beautiful thing about Vlogmas. These are being turned around daily so I can get to your questions in a day or two. If I get enough questions I will have a sit down Dyson Airwrap Q&A if you need me to. So that is it for the air wrap tutorial right now it is already going to be 1 30 so i am going to you take advantage of as much of this natural light as i can get because the clouds are coming in hopefully i'll have some light when i get back upstairs from lunch but i am going to shoot a couple of reels i am going to start decorating in this room a little bit then after that is done later this afternoon i'm going to go downstairs and do a little bit more cleaning up we're still in the process of decorating downstairs so we still have decorations and boxes we haven't fully decorated the house so i'm going to see how much of that i can get through um, this afternoon i've got to figure out what i'm going to make for dinner i'm not 100 percent sure uh, at this point what dinner is going to be. I also need to do my wine advent calendar. So um, a lot to do. Got to answer comments as well. I put out my weekly vlog last night and comments have been piling up. So I've got to go in and, uh, and uh, answer comments as well. I will probably do that during lunch. Busy, busy day. Let me go ahead and I'm going to go downstairs and eat lunch because I am starving. All right. Talk to you later. All right. I am having some leftover fried rice from last week. Mm. Okay, so it is time for the wine advent calendar. I'm not going to open this up just yet. Um, the wine that is until dinner time. It is, what time is it? It is about two o'clock right now. So we are on day one. Let's see what we have. Ooh, we've got a white wine. Okay. This is Verdicchio de Castelli di Gesi. It's a 2020. It's a product of Italy, so it's an Italian wine. So this is from the Passport Collection. It is a white, so I'm going to pop it in the fridge, and I will have it with my dinner to tonight, and I apologize for all the mess. I have to keep this on my dining room table because right now I don't have a spot for it. I am thinking about putting it on the bar, potentially, if it fits. But until then, we have this guy here. And so this is just a pamphlet for the different wines in the in the advent calendar. Maybe I can get some information on it. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this has got the tasting notes of lemon crisp apples fennel green almond I'm going to make some chili for dinner tonight i don't think that this is the right pairing for chili so i'll have to come up with something different i think i'm going to do pasta even though it's going to have a red sauce it'll be a cheese pasta so i think we may go with that or i'm not sure hmm okay i'll have to think on that but this is the wine of the day okay outfit of the day because i decided to shoot this as my reel today is quite fancy and um, I am going to be just at home today but why not right so I am wearing my puff sleeve oh my god I can't believe I still had the tags on there oh I hope that isn't showing the reel anyway I've got to take that off my puff sleeve shirt from Eloquy and I did decide to keep this from my one of my Eloquy hauls I think this is a beautiful shirt Right now for the holidays, but also even beyond the holidays, I think this is a really nice work shirt. If you wear like a cami or something, it does go kind of deep um, in the cleavage area, but I love this shirt. I really, really love the collar of this shirt. And let me brighten you up a little bit because 
our light is fading. I really, really like the color of this shirt. I think it is so pretty. I love the fact that it goes into a deep V. Love, love, love the puff sleeves. I am wearing my OB belt and then my beautiful skirt that I got from Anthropology, which sadly I don't think is available anymore. I will look and see if they have it. If not, I'll try and find something similar. For me, it fits me really, really long, but that's okay because, you know, it's kind of a holiday look and I really like it. I think it's really, really beautiful for being what it is. I will likely put on my pink fuzzy slippers here in a little bit though because I've got to decorate the room. Jewelry, I am wearing my chunky gold hoop earrings and these are from Target. I've got my medallion necklace here from Amazon and then my ring from Ana Luisa. I haven't put my wedding bands on yet, but my ring from Ana Luisa. And speaking of, I have got a haul for Ana Luisa. So I will be showing you that stuff here in a little bit. Let me flip you around for makeup. All right, my makeup of the day is, I'm actually wearing the Natasha Denona gold palette, which is sadly no longer available. I'm so sad about that. I love that palette. But if you do have it, now is the time to wear it, I think. And my lipstick's a little bit clashy with my makeup, but it's all colors that are in the skirt. So that's what I'm saying. I'm wearing Rare Beauty um, Mousse Lip liquid lipstick or something like that, moussey liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Inspire, which is one of Selena's favorites. This is from the Selena's Favorites kit. And the blush actually, and the highlight, no, the blush that I'm wearing is from the kit as well. And I love, love, love that little set. I think that it is a really, really good Rare Beauty starter set. I have not opened up the mascara yet, which Dang it, I just opened up a mascara today. I should have opened that one. Oh well, I've gotten my real shot. Now I am going to sit down and show you what I got from Ana Luisa and a gift that I have purchased. I'm going to bust into the gift first because this is for my partner and I don't want her to hear, so that's why I'm talking really quietly. All right, so this is from somebody that I found on Instagram and this was when we were researching her tags for her Instagram account and you know for the type of artwork that she does because it is sustainable art and this guy also does sustainable art it's called DVH designs and what he does is he takes old car paint and he like mixes it and hardens it into art pieces earrings pendants things like that and so I found one on his website that I thought that she would absolutely love. And it is this one. And it's like two-sided also. This is all car paint. It's car paint that he brings together, that he kind of mixes and fuses. And then I don't know what his process is, that he hardens it, but he hardens it. But then it also has this really cool design on the other side. So this guy is amazing. He's got some very, very beautiful, very unique handmade pieces. And so I'm going to steal her silver chain from her and I'm going to box it up with the chain. Um, and I'm going to give this to her for Christmas. And she really, really wanted one. She put it on her list. And so that is what she's getting. I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful piece. I'm tempted to buy something for myself. I will have his website linked down below if you're interested in hearing or going to see his work. It's beautiful and it's sustainable too. So, okay, there's that. Then um, I made an order from Ana Luisa and she was having a really, really great Black Friday sale. And so I took advantage of her Black Friday sale. And this was pre-Black Friday, mind you. I didn't order these on Black Friday. I ordered these, like, I think I ordered them on Thanksgiving Day. And I already got them, which is amazing. And that was on, I ordered them on Thursday. Was it Thursday? Yeah. I think I ordered them on Thursday. And I got them on Monday, today. So I have to say, Ana Luisa's shipping is incredible i am not sponsored by her i wish i were sponsored by her so if ana luisa if you're paying attention love love your pieces and i love 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 everything you stand for plus the fact that your delivery is so fast but anyway i digress here is what i got love that they come in these little canvas jewelry bags and i picked up their zodiac collection and I got Leo, of course. 
um, I have been wanting to level up my jewelry collection. A lot of the jewelry I have is stuff that I get like from Express or Target and places like that. And I really, really want to level up my jewelry collection. So I am looking at places like Ana Luisa and I actually placed a Black Friday order on Monica Vinder, Vinander site. I've got two pieces coming from her. I do have a bracelet by Monica Vinander. It is a rose gold bracelet, but I'm gonna start wearing it more because I really like it and I haven't worn it in a long time. Like I said, I wanna level up my jewelry game and bring it to Demi Fine Jewelry and Fine Jewelry. So I will be adding pieces over time. And as I told you, I think I might have mentioned it when I got this ring. That was kind of my intent. That was my purpose. Uh, that That's the one thing that I am really focused on right now as far as my wardrobe is concerned. I decided to place this order for Ana Luisa because when she released these Zodiac pendants, I was like enthralled. I love Zodiac. I do. And so I decided that I wanted to pick up a piece. And um, this is it right here. It is so pretty. It has a beautiful lion etched on it. I love my zodiac sign. Of course, would I mean I'm a Leo. I I I love 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 my zodiac sign. <laughs> um, so let's try it on. Hopefully, it fits. The one thing I will say about Ana Luisa is that her necklaces aren't always like size inclusive. But if it doesn't and it fits a little bit shorter than I would like. So I will likely put an extender on this piece. And this extender is, of course, not in gold tone. It's the only one I have, but it is one that I got from Stella and Dot on one of their necklaces, and I kind of repurpose it. And so even though it is not the same tone, it sits in the back of my head. So as long as I don't have my hair up, nobody can see it. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my medallion necklace to the back so that I have a beautiful layered look. And let me bring it down, there you go. All right, and so that is the Ana Luisa necklace with an extender. I am gonna look and see if I can find an extender on Stella and Dot because I really like their extenders. And I'm gonna look on Stella and Dot and see if I can find one in gold. I love, love, love this little necklace. I think it is so pretty, I'm so excited for it. Okay. All right, and then I picked up a ring. I wanna start wearing stacks. I picked a size eight because I think that is, yes, that is the size of my pointer finger. And actually, I think I'm gonna, let's see what it, uh, I think it fits better on my right hand. And I'm gonna, I also ordered a ring from, um, from Monica Vinader. So I'm gonna start doing ring stacks. And I really like the concept of that. And this is what the ring looks like. It is a beautiful gold plated ring with, I think these are diamonds, are they diamonds? I've gotta look at the description online, but it is stunning. It is such a pretty ring. I am super happy with my purchases. I love them. This is my one, two, three pieces from Ana Luisa so far. That's my little Black Friday jewelry haul. I've got more coming. Again, I am not sponsored by Ana Luisa. She doesn't even know who I am, but I really love what they stand for. All right, that's enough of that. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my reel. And while that is uploading, I am going to um, start decorating. I was going to try and shoot two reels today, but I think I'm gonna shoot two reels tomorrow instead um, because I wanna get the room decorated before I shoot any more reels, so. All right. Um, you guys are gonna get put on time-lapse, so I hope you enjoy. Then you know it's Christmas snow starts to fall then you know it's christmas for the children above all then you know it's christmas cause santa's on his way we stand under the mistletoe and then it's christmas day the joyful times we 
witness forever stays with us. Soon Rudolph fears his wisdom and gathers all his friends. When Santa and his missus wraps the final gift, you know it's time for Christmas for each and every product um thinking that it's probably too cluttered i think that we've got a little bit too much going on here i would like your thoughts on this do we have too much going on i have my wreath up hopefully that picture hook can hang on to that that's kind of a heavy wreath hmm this little tree was actually a find it was um it was in the garbage at the mall. It belonged to a card store. I think it was Hallmark back in the day when Hallmark card stores actually existed. And it was scavenged. And then I bought, or we bought, the little ball ornaments from Target. And the little pine cones are from Crate and Barrel. And we have had this little tree for a good at least eight or nine years, maybe more. And so I can't have a Christmas tree in here this year because the room logistics just don't allow for it because of the mirror and the bed. So that's my tree this year. And I've got this little vignette going on right here with my print that I got from my Gucci SA. And I've got the wreath hanging over it and I'm not sure if I like it, I think there's a lot going on. And I think I need to take my print down. Or maybe move it. But I don't know. You tell me. The garland on the bookcase, that is what it is. I like it. I like having that festive touch on the bookshelf. Um, I flattened out some of the, some of the pine boughs that I've got to fluff up again when I was putting up the wreath. But then I've got my little, over here, my little vignette. I've got my little reindeer stocking holder, which I've got to put the stocking on him. And then I've got my plant on a pedestal and my bag. I'm not sure if I like that either. Hmm. I'm probably going to tinker with this a little bit. Let me hang my stocking. All right. I need your opinion. Let me know. I'm not going to take the tag off of my stocking until I have heard back from you. But as far as placement of things, that I also want to hear back from you on. let it stew for a bit before I move it again and see what I want to do. My hair is driving me crazy. I'm going to go find something to put it up with. Um, but I am also going to get to work on editing that reel that I shot today so that I can post it. And then, um, hmm. Oh yes, I need to work on my intro for the, for Vlogmas, which I haven't done. It's not going to be anything fancy. It's not going to be anything animated. I don't have that skill set. So I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to put together a little montage. I have the music all selected and everything. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on some editing then. Um, and I'm going to set you guys down for the time being for that. So I will be back momentarily. I'm about to serve up dinner, but because I had a white wine, I had to go with something kind of chicken. So I had some frozen chicken tamales from Costco that are really, really good. Really good. And... Even though it's Mexican, it's an Italian wine. It's a weird mix. I think it's gonna go well together. The chicken is very flavorful, but not spicy. And you've got the lovely masa from the tamal cause it's nice and thick. And so I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna pour my wine and then I'm gonna give it a taste. And then I will let you know what it tastes like with dinner.
it's a generous pour. All right, so here's what the wine looks like. Let's see. It smells good though. It is a very nice bright wine. Um, it's got a very light color, very pale yellow. It's nice and cold, which is how I prefer my whites. Very nice, very light, very much a summer wine though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the full pour. And the bonus is I'm gonna have lots of these cool little bottles left which these would make really beautiful little bottles to have on a table with a flower in it. So recycle, reuse, I'm gonna take the labels off. All right, I'm gonna serve up my dinner and then I will let you know how it all tastes together. All right, so here's our dinner. Sorry for the noise in the background. Hopefully they don't demonetize. So these are chicken tamales and there's my wine. It has been a full busy day. Got done eating dinner. Now I've got to edit this vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I just need to get my vlogmas legs under me, but I think it went fairly well. Let me know in the comments down below. If you love vlogmas and are interested in watching more, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.